I'm getting ready to make a cigar box guitar out of this Padrone box. Now the first thing I do when I, after I pick my box is to cut out the notch for my neck. And I'm going to show you an easy template that I've made that makes that job very easy. Now the very first thing I do in prepping a box for a guitar is I get my painter's tape here and I put a little piece over here kind of in the center and also a piece on this side for the center just like that and then I'm going to take my centering ruler right here from cbgiddy.com and if you've never used a centering ruler it has a center obviously and then has the exact same measurements going this way from the center and also this way from the center so what we're going to do is we're going to find the very center of this Padrone box. Now if I lay it, the centering ruler down there, looks like I got almost seven. Well, it's six and three quarters and a half, if that makes sense. And I'm going to put a little line there where the center is. Also going to do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm just going to extend those two lines right there and right there. Now what I have right here is one of my neck blanks right here and here is a heel blank right here. Now the wood that I use for my necks is called a 1x2 so if you went to the big box store and looked up a 1x2, this is the size it would be, which should be 1 inch by 2 inch. But don't let them fool you, because it's not really 1 inch by 2 inch. It's 3 quarters of an inch by an inch and a half. That's correct. So when you take your neck wood and your heel wood and put those together just like that, to go into your box, that is going to be the size hole you need to cut out of your box, which is an inch and a half by an inch and a half. So this is how I've made a neck notching template for all my cigar box guitars. I take two pieces of that one by two, scrap pieces like this, and I take two pieces and cut them at an inch and a half. Now I realize these are not cut at an inch and a half, but if they were, then I would take both of these pieces and glue them together as flush as I can, just like that. So when I was done, it would look like this. So now when I take my two pieces as if they were glued together, this piece is as big as this piece. Hmm. Then I take my little block that I have glued together and I draw a line directly in the center of the top of the block, which is three quarters of an inch is in the middle. And I just draw a line there, just like that. Now when I'm ready to mark my box for my guitar, whatever side the neck is coming out of, left-handed or right-handed, in this case it's going to be right-handed, what I'll do is I see my center line there and my center line there. I line the center line up with, from the box, I line it up to the center line on the block, and I make sure the block is flush with the top of the box. Now the reason I want the block to be even with the top of the box when I mark it is because I want the neck to be even with the top of the box until I add my quarter inch fretboard to the neck and then it will be sitting a quarter inch higher than the box top. Just like this. Yep. Well if you're wondering what that drippy noise is, it's raining right outside that door. Now once I line up the center line with the block to the center line on the box, and it's flush on the top, then I just take my little sharpie and I draw or trace around 
the little block. And there's the marking for my next lot. I want to show you this here sign I have hanging in my shop. Oh, how true. Now once I have my little square centered right where I want it on my box for my uh, neck notch, what I'm going to do is take my little straight edge speed square, put it right on the line there, and my razor knife, and I'm just going to score the line. Now when I do this, I kind of score the line on the inside of my marking. This way when I cut, it's a nice clean cut, and if it's a little small, I can use a file to file it a little bigger so the neck fits in there nice and snugly. And the bottom line there, I just score that as well. And like I said, I don't score directly on the line. I score a little higher than the line. So then I could file it down so I get a perfect fit. There you go. this box here I got to go down that far I'm just gonna make a series of cuts and then just chisel that out so that's how it looks it's a little jagged on the bottom but I'm gonna straighten that out with my Shintu whoops Shintu rasp with the finer teeth And then smooth it out and clean it up with a regular file. Now after cleaning a lot of this out with your file, your block should fit right in there like that and be level with the top of the box. This one is all set for the neck. Well I do apologize for the sound of the rain, unfortunately I have no control over that. I'm in Florida, you know, the sunshine state. That Around here they call liquid sunshine. That's why so many people vacation to Florida. They can't wait to hear the rain. If you got something out of this video, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of these fine quality videos. Some will even have rain. I think this video needs a musical outro played on a three string cigar box guitar tuned to an open E. I think I'll call this tune the Liquid Sunshine Blues. I'll be playing this little tune on this three-string cigar box guitar made from a howitzer box. I mean, how it's her box.
from the land of liquid sunshine. My name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.